we are group three. Uh, we call ourselves Deer Stalker. Uh, that's kind of like the theme of our game. Um, so first, I want to introduce our, our team members. Uh, my name is Eduardo, uh, and this is Tiffany. And we have more team members. <laughs> uh, you guys want to come introduce each other? One at oh, okay. Um, so we have Cindy at the very end, uh, and then that's Brian. He's another team member. Uh, then Timothy. Yeah, Tim. <laughs> uh, then we have Atyansh, but he goes by AJ. Hello. Uh, and Victor, and Eduardo and Tiffany. Uh, so um, our game is at the very beginning. We were thinking about what we wanted to do, uh, and we all kind of agreed that we like like Super Smash or like this game that we saw that was in the indie community called uh, Gangs Beast. Uh, so we kind of decided that we wanted to do some type of brawl game. Um, so it's basically like kind of like a uh, like brawl. You have to fight each other off the stages. Uh, but we wanted to make it a little bit unique. And Cindy uh, is a huge fan of hats. Uh, so we wanted to have like power ups that you got like different kind of abilities based on like what kind of hat you have. Uh, so in our game we have five different hats and we'll demonstrate it as the demo goes on. Uh, but they have different abilities that let you like beat people off the stage. Um, and so the simple mechanics of the game is like uh, we are in this like uh, construction site above like in the sky uh, and you have to kick each like other teammates off the ground like multiple times. You have three lives and at the end whoever is living at the end is the winner. Um, so it's a pretty simple game but it's really fun. Uh, one of the things we try to do is we are we didn't want that you uh, we wanted every action that you made to have some sort of consequence. So we made the kind of the controls a little bit loose so that if you were to like move to the left, you will be moving to the left drastically so that you don't just like move to the left and nothing happens. So sometimes you fly off. Um, but yeah, do you want to? I'll take care of their volume. Okay, so I'm Tiffany. I'm the artist. So like all, I did all of the modeling and animation. And well, this is my first time using Maya, to be honest, and I've never really done 3D modeling. So with this, I decided to go with more simpler looking models. So all the characters are kind of cute and small. And, um, and, uh, and so we want two volunteers to play our game. Uh, you and the guy in the hat. <laughs> oh, he came prepared for this guy. Hat basically. <laughs> Uh, and then from our team, uh, AJ and Victor are going to play. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, does anybody else want to play? Go ahead. Uh, oh, Todd? Do you have a question or do you want to play? Uh, yeah, just come on. Whoever wants to play, come on down. One person. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we couldn't, we didn't think of a real name for our game yet. Uh, we're still deciding that if anybody has ideas. Thanks. All right, thank you. All right. Um, um it's a hat. It's a, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, basically, we looked up a, ha we, looked up a right. we looked up a list of hats, and that was the only one that was like not it, boring but not too weird. Yeah, and it's also Sherlock Holmes hat. Yeah, we also have that hat in our game, as you'll see. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we can turn it off. I'll take the sound when they get into the game. Okay, when you guys start, he'll he'll boost the sound. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's our loading screen. Uh, so they spawn at random locations, and usually the the fighting takes place in the main area. Uh, 
Oh yeah, and as you can see, we have a UI to see the health of the players at the bottom. Uh, so one of the features we added is that if your health is all the way to the end, you get stunned and another player can grab you and throw you out of the stage. Oh yeah, uh, so they're right there. Uh, he's... Adrian, can you grab a hat? Uh, oh, the, that's the magician's hat. They're able to throw um, projectiles out. Adrian, right. Adrian, please get a hat on. I want to show that. Uh, he's about to grab the bear hat. It allows you to turn into the Warren Bear um, and also control gravity. Yeah, so right now he's decreasing the gravity for everybody else and so everybody levitates. Uh, and then he transforms the Warren Bear. Uh, Uh, and uh, you have a uh, limited time on the hat, so once you either run out or dispose your hat, you can pick up a new one. Right now, since AJ died, he can switch through players to see different views to see. That's what he's doing right now. Yeah, so in the death state, um, it's like a, another character view, so you can see how everyone else is doing from your screen. Uh, and that's a propeller hat. It allows you to fly up and down from the stage. Uh, it's pretty cool. But he can fly back in. Uh, if anybody sees the like hard hat, you might want to pick that up. It's actually really powerful. Yeah. So if you have the hard hat, you can like it has a shockwave thing where you like press down near you. It like spawns like a force around everybody around you. That's right there. The the deer stalker hat is really powerful. You might want to grab that. It's a deer. If you run into them and then turn into a deer, you get really powerful. Oh yeah, uh, the magician's hat also has invisibility. Oh, the deer soccer, I'm sorry. The deer soccer also has invisibility. So the, the idea is like you're invisible and then you go really near the other opponent and then turn into a deer and hit him.
Um, yeah, so any questions about our game? Okay, uh, so we'll just show you some of the hat abilities without like actual gameplay so you can see how they look like. Uh, AJ, can you grab some of the stuff? <laughs> oh damn. Edge of the heart has right there on the right. Oh, somebody has it. So yeah, right there was a force field, like they punched down on the ground, and everybody around them got hurt. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> So what you saw just there is that when a player is stunned, you can pick them up and like throw them off the platform. I think you kicked him out. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. Oh, crap. Wait, this. Vegas is so OP. Wait, this. Vegas is OP, please, Uh, does anyone have any questions while they finish playing? I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I have Tim and Tiffany talk about that. They and also Cindy. They did most of that. Why did I do that? Okay. So the reason why um, we have like like what's called like I guess really flat coloring is uh, really flat coloring is because well um, it's my uh, it's. It's Tiffany's new to Maya, and then so the model was done a little bit strange. So the normals were kind of strange, and then like the armpits would light up and have lighting, and the other parts of the model wouldn't have lighting. So that's why we chose for a more flat design. It also matches our clouds and like like the rest of our train. It was more cartoony, and our characters are really like I guess we were inspired by like like video games where and. Yeah, like Wind Waker, and we believe that it doesn't really matter how like realistic our designs are, as long as the gameplay is there. Any other questions? Okay, so in terms of like what hats we chose and why, it's more because we chose hats that we thought. Uh, we chose. We thought about abilities we wanted, so we wanted to like fly. So we chose a propeller hat, and I modeled that out of, off of the the nuclear hat from Google, just because that's like the dream job, I guess. And then we wanted the deer soccer because that's our our name, and we we were in, like Sherlock Holmes is very like 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 wait. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So at the very beginning, we were talking and looking up a lot of hats that we saw, uh, and then at the same time, we were thinking about what kind of abilities we thought would be really fun in the game, uh, and then we kind of just like matched them together. So like the hard hat, we have the wrench because we wanted to have some sort of like 
really object that we be able to hit everybody else. And then for the Warren Bear, we kind of just use that to have the ability to change the gravity on other players. So like, let's say I get thrown out of the stage. If somebody has the gravity uh, ability, they can make me float and I can just come back into the stage. Uh, so we just kind of like played around with the different abilities and see how they like played well with each other. And we found hats to match the ability. Um, yeah, Tim, how did you do the clouds? Oh, the clouds? So the way I did the clouds pretty much was I was looking around and basically it was, I basically had a, I got a sphere type model and then with the sphere I basically applied a Perlin noise on top of it and then I added like a little bit of lighting to make it look like that basically. And it made it nice because it matches our, with the, because our lighting was kind of off, it matched like perfectly with the shading. Yeah. I'm sorry, can you repeat that one more time? Wait, can, can everybody like be quiet? <laughs> okay, uh, so... Okay, uh, Edge will talk about that, but... Uh, that's it was kind of like the purpose of the game to make it very like not rigid in terms of like movement But AJ go ahead. Yeah, so we played around a lot with the movement and we realized we wanted to make the game Kind of hard to control so people would die more often so uh, in like instead of like standard controls we apply forces every time someone moves so like if you keep moving you're just gonna keep getting faster and eventually like so that's why you don't want to like always hold the button. So like, the force that like the, there's a friction value between the ground and the player, but it's not very high. So like once you start going, it's really hard to stop. And yeah, did did I answer your question? Cool. Oh, so uh, that was supposed to be a wrecking ball. Uh, due to time limitations, we couldn't get it moving across the stage. But you should see that in our open beta. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we're also uh, going to implement like payment system so that you can buy the OC. <laughs> Thank you.